Hey everybody, Tim here from Workshop 12 and I got Alex in the background working away here at some assembly for the electronics. Um, we wanted to do a new video to talk a little bit about some uh, improvements that we're making in the Mark uh, 1.5 electronics kits. Um, and so uh, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so uh, improvements in the Mark 1.5 kit. So. Uh, one of the things that, for whatever reason, uh, we're getting increasing amounts of reports coming in around uh, noise or static or electrical on uh, the car's audio system. Um, now, for us, we're not creating uh, the, the noise that, that's coming through the system. Uh, and traditionally, we've been uh, packing in uh, pack units, uh, this SNI, uh, SNI-1 unit from PAC um, and essentially what it does and for most vehicles um, it essentially is filtering out any kind of noise that's coming through uh, the headphone jack of the tablet and then going through the electronics of the system and typically it filters out anything um, that uh, that comes to the system now what's causing this noise um, what's causing it is that there's distortion or noise on the actual electrical supply um, that's coming into our kit. Uh, so that electrical supply that comes in is powering our amplifier, it's powering the voltage uh, downstep to be able to charge the tablet, providing all that electricity in there and then connecting um, the headphone jack back through into the electronics can cause that electricity and that noise to travel through the audio circuitry of the, uh, of the kit. Um, now, what happens, uh, you know, in, in the OEM head units? And, you know, the first question is, well, my OEM head unit um, isn't showing this noise uh, and your kit is. Uh, totally get it. Uh, the OEM head units uh, have some voodoo magic uh, that they've done in there through lots of uh, R&D work to know what kind of signals uh, and what kind of digital interference might be coming through the vehicle to be filtered out. Um, there's various different ways of being able to filter that out of the system, um, but obviously through their R&D cycles, they're, they're, uh, uh, they're pulling that out of there. Now, the electrical noise can be from poor grounds, can be from alternator wine, can be from literally in my vehicle had wires passing close to the ECU that was picking up, you know, digital signals coming in there and, and muddying up uh, the signal throughout the, uh, the system. Um, so the ultimate solution um, of being able to clean it uh, and get good clean audio is to find a clean um, audio or a clean electrical source. Now that kind of goes against a plug and play system where we're able to clip into your existing harness because if your harness is noisy, we're trying to do our best to work as a pure plug and play and not find an extra source of electrical for your kit. But as a good example, here is an example of our kit installed into a 370Z that had a horrible electrical noise coming across its power source. So give a listen to, to hear what that sounds like. So pretty crappy. Um, and that noise is really loud coming through. So typically anything that we would see in usual kits would be you know, a small hiss or something along those lines. And that's usually what, you know, this uh, inline filter for the RCA would, uh, would clean out of there. Now, here's that exact same car where the power source wasn't coming from the factory harness behind the dash and was coming from a clean power source. So as you can see now, the sound is crystal clear. There's no humming or buzzing or interference or anything like that. And that's the difference of a clean electrical circuit versus a dirty, noisy one. So what we're doing is as much as we can do to try to heap um, you know, noise out of your system. So we've been starting to put into any of the new uh, Mark 1.5 electronics kits that are going out the door. So if it hasn't been shipped yet, it will be receiving this treatment uh, that's coming into it. So we're matching up uh, two different products from Axis. Um, so one is it's got an inline filter, so it's not the pack one. Um, one of the interesting things uh, with this filter is that on the pack, it actually has uh, an in and an out on it, which is totally reversible, but it's confusing as hell. 
Um, so that, you know, goes away. Um, this new uh, unit from Axis allows you to switch your input and output on it. Um, so you don't have to worry about the male female connections of the RCAs, you just swap it on either end of there. So we're replacing that and putting this unit in uh, to do inline between the tablet and uh, the electronics itself. Now, the other thing that we're doing is we're matching that up with an Axis inline electrical noise filter. Now, what these do is very similar to what you would find in an OEM, OEM head unit um, or a, an aftermarket head unit. Um, we have some details. If you look in the description of this YouTube video, we've got a link to an article that talks a little bit more about how these things are put together. Typically what they have is they've got you know, basically a, a filter, a capacitor, and a way to try to pull any distortion that it can to a limit uh, of what it can out of that system. And that is the maximum most that we're able to do. If it's even more excessive after putting these two things in place, you're gonna have to find a clean source of electrical in your car. But these guys all come pre-wired um, in the system now. So if we get an example of our, our Mark 1.5 electronics here, you see that we've actually got the filter built right in line into the factory harnesses. So we're trying to keep up as much as we can for plugging these directly straight into your factory harness filtering out as much as we can of any kind of power before it ever gets to our electronics, before it ever gets to the tablet, and trying to isolate the circuit as much as possible through our electronics so that we don't get that into the tablet to begin with. We don't have to try to filter it out as it comes through, and it's clean once it hits your outputs going to your stereo. So those are the different things that we're doing. Um, again, clean it as much as we can coming out of the RCA and clean it before the electrical ever gets into the box. So these are as much as we can possibly do. Uh, beyond this, it's just the way that we call it, dirty ass signal, right? Uh, there's, there's nasty electrical that's coming in there. I had the same thing in my Subaru um, and trying to find a clean source. These types of filters actually were able to clean it out of my system, which was good. Um, but we wanted to let you guys know that we are putting those things in place. Uh, we'll continue to support those that have come back to us with uh, issues that they're trying to work through on this stuff. We'll make sure that we get things all set up for you and, and right to be able to work through getting rid of that noise in your system. Um, so that's our update. Uh, like always, we're constantly looking for ways to further improve our products. Please continue to provide us feedback, anything that you're finding um, with the kits. We'll do everything in our power to try to correct uh, and make the product better. So thanks again and uh, we'll see you in the next video.